Okay guys, here I am. I'm back. And this is the Barrel and Blade Knife of the Month. This is for January. Pretty sure. Or is it February? No, this is January's Knife of the Month, I think. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, let's get into it and see. It's one of those giant sogs again. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is January's Knife of the Month. Uh, it just got here on February 1st, but um, I got the shipping note. Yeah, I got the shipping notification in January. Um, so we've got the Pentagon XR folding knife. Uh, it has an MSRP of $179.95. Again, that is MSRP. CTS XHP stainless steel. That's great steel. That's really good steel. Uh, 3.66 uh, cryogenically heat treated. Okay, that might not make a lot of sense. Cryogenically heat treated, but so it goes through the heat treat and then it's got a cryo treatment, which is a cold treatment. It, 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 it's you do that with some steels and it, it, it really improves the durability of the blade. Um, let's see, what else does it tell us? Um, single handed opening in three different ways, um, solid blade lock. Okay, I don't know anything about this, um, so you know we're gonna have to we're gonna have to check this knife out. I really I've I've never I've never seen it before, so let's. Uh, there's a picture of it. Did it have specs there for us? It does have specs. Let's get the specs, and then I don't have to do typing. So we'll put that all on there. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Series Mark Three. That is pronounced MK. That's not pronounced MK. That's Mark. MK is an abbreviation for Mark. And it makes me nuts when people are discussing military stuff and they say it's an MK whatever. It, it's pronounced Mark. It's an abbreviation. Um, anyway, it's Mark III. So let's get this out. Um, SOG does some of the most wasteful packaging in the knife world, but this has a nice feel. So we've got G10 and they've got the little protective thing over there, right? So spear point blade, but of course it is only sharp on one side. Definitely a, a DLC coating. You can tell by the way it is kind of non-reflective um, and I know it's showing a little bit of light, but trust me that's a non-reflective coating. And the way that fingerprints Show it's you just DLC has a has a very specific look to it, which is nice. Um, let's see. So we've got inset steel liners in there. So you've got the G10, and then you see the steel is is inside it, which helps. You don't have the big full steel all the way around. It helps save weight. Um, very nice balance on it too. So small deep carry clip, and then you can switch it left to right, which we like. Now this looks a little different, but if you take a look. It's kind of the SOG version of the the access lock, although they can't call it an access lock. Calling it an access lock is, is still like trademarked, but the actual patent on Benchmade's access lock expired a long time ago, so companies can do their own version of it. But wow, that's smooth. Is this on bearings? I'd say this is on bearings. Excellent one-handed operation. So you got a flipper here. Um, you got thumb studs, and then of course, now great retention too. You you, we, you should not be able to just throw that out like that with an axis type lock. Um, that's awesome, but really nice action. Whether you're using the flipper or the thumb studs, wow, that is really smooth. I really really like it. And I don't know if I pointed this out, but you probably saw. But you've got. Uh, texture G10 to give you a nice grip. It's simple, but it feels good. It feels it feels really. It's just a nice kind of sits nicely in your hand. Um, backspacer is plastic, but we can forgive them for that, um, based on you know the rest of the knife being pretty good so far. But yeah, it sits pretty nice. Um, I mean, just no real hot spots I can think of. That choil holds your finger really nicely. Okay, yeah, um, these edges here and here, 
might, if you're really working a lot with it, and eh, they might, they might get a little uncomfortable. All you have to do is buff that down with a little sandpaper if you want, um, and that should take care of that. So. This is definitely one that I plan on carrying around and working with a bit. Feels pretty good right out of the box, ready to go. Um, you know, I just noticed just at the tip there, you'll see you've got a little bit of grind, right? Not a full um, edge on the top but just a little bit at that point, which gives you a little bit of piercing, which is pretty cool. I just, I love the action on it. The action on it's great. It really is. Oh man, fingerprints, fingerprints, killing me, killing me. Pretty clean, easy slice. A little bit of effort on the pull through, not a whole lot, but a little bit, but still, Pretty clean cut and nice pew. I know I'm not saying the pew, I'm sorry guys. I haven't been feeling so well lately, but nice pew popping action there. Definitely cool knife for the Knife of the Month Club. I think this is maybe one of my favorites, you know, just based on first look here and uh, initial impressions, this might be one of my favorite knives that Barrel and Blade has sent out for the Knife of the Month Club. Really like it. It's simple, but it's got a little bit of style to it, but it's, you know, um, great steel. Um, and it's a nice, decent size. You can get some good work done with it, but also um, not too big for EDC. Um, 3.66, I know some people, you know, don't like to have, you know, something more than three inches for their EDC blade, but I think this is a decent size. You could EDC this easily, especially the lightweight and the good balance to it. Deep carry clip will keep it nice and in your pocket. Um, and uh, it just, especially with the one-handed action that it lets you do, uh, I think it'd be very good for EDC purposes. So I think this is a real winner. And another one that will definitely be in my pocket around the shop. Um, just kind of walking around so I can check it out and see if there's anything significant to report back to you on. Um, and yeah, there is a good amount of skeletonization on those inset liners. You're probably not going to be able to see it on camera, but I'll try to, yeah. Awesome. Very cool knife. Uh, very happy. What do you guys think? Um, this is one that I think you have to feel to really appreciate, but we'll be seeing more of it definitely be seeing more of it. Uh, Barrel and Blade is one of my one of my favorite subscriptions in general and um, you know I think they're getting the, the swing of the knife of the month. Um, haven't been thrilled with everything um, but in general they do a pretty good one and this is this is much better than pretty good. Uh, I like this one a lot. This is cool. So yeah what do you guys think of this one? Um, those of you who do subscribe happy not happy those of you who don't subscribe is this the kind of thing that you would subscribe for you like this knife in general something you would carry something you'd be happy with uh, what are your thoughts guys let me know so anyway thanks for watching excited as always to hear what you guys have to say and remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome and i appreciate every single one of you and i'll be back again real soon